Hi guys, in this video we are going to see what is back EMF and how back EMF is generated in a motor. When a motor rotates, a counter EMF is generated in the windings of the motor. This opposing EMF is called back EMF. The faster a motor rotates, high will be the back EMF. The slower a motor rotates, less will be the back EMF. How back EMF is generated in the windings of a motor? According to the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, whenever a changing magnetic field passes through a coil, EMF or voltage is generated in the coil. The same physics applies to the windings of a DC or AC motor. When the rotor of a motor rotates, the magnetic field continuously changes in the windings of the motor. This changing magnetic field produces back EMF in the windings of the motor. To observe back EMF in a DC motor, connect a DC motor with a bulb in a series combination and then connect the circuit to a DC power supply. Due to the rotation of the armature, back EMF is generated in the motor windings. This EMF opposes the current passing through the circuit. At a high speed of rotation, the back EMF is high, which offer high resistance to the current passing through the circuit and the bulb glows dimmer. At a low speed of rotation, the back EMF is low, which offer less resistance to the current and the bulb glows brighter. By the Lenz law of electromagnetic induction, back EMF is an opposing EMF. This EMF limits the amount of current passing through a motor. Increasing the load on a motor decreases the angular speed of the motor. As a result, the back EMF will reduce and more current will pass through the motor windings. This can damage the windings of the motor. When we apply a voltage source across the circuit, some of the applied voltage drops across the bulb and the remaining voltage drops across the motor windings, which is approximately equal to the back EMF of the motor. Back EMF is always less than the applied voltage across a motor. This is due to the reason that a part of the applied voltage drops across the resistance of the windings of the motor and the remaining voltage is balanced by the back EMF. So the applied voltage is equal to the back EMF plus voltage drop across the resistor. From this relation back EMF is equal to the applied voltage minus voltage drop across the resistor. Hope you would have enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching.